to the children and teenagers with type 1 diabetes who say to me, I have high blood sugars all day and night, and it's exhausting. What simple changes can I make right now to stop having constant hyperglycemia? I share with them six effective ways that I've learned to protect the body from diabetic hyperglycemias. First, you must learn to understand which foods are carbohydrates because they are the only ones quickly turned into sugar once you eat them. Here's the complete list. Reducing the carbohydrates that cause diabetic hyperglycemias is the best way to safely prevent or eliminate them. Second, drink only sugar-free, calorie-free, and carbohydrate-free liquids, such as diet or zero sodas and water. You can drink as much as you like, whenever you want, without ever risking high blood sugars. There are many tasty options out there. Third, Eat only at mealtimes. Between meals, avoid snacking whenever your blood sugar is above 80 milligrams per deciliter. Your body doesn't need more calories at that time, and most snacks are sure to cause additional hyperglycemia. Fourth, always allow your pre-meal insulin to lower your blood sugar to the normal range. Before you start eating. Eating when you already have hyperglycemia never works out well. Fifth, if you experience hypoglycemia outside of mealtimes, learn to use only glucose tablets to bring your blood sugar back to normal between 80 and 90 milligrams per deciliter. Using foods to correct hypoglycemia will always cause more hyperglycemia. Six, whenever you inject rapid or fast-acting insulin, allow it to work for between four and five full hours before injecting another dose of fast-acting insulin. The first dose will continue to slowly lower your blood sugar during those hours if you wait patiently without eating 